the Arduino uh, CNC Shield version 3, pinnacle of, of engineering. Great little thing. But I'm not talking about that. I'm going to talk about the uh, CNC Shield version 4. This is the version 4. Uh, one great thing about it is, is it, it's a lot smaller than, than the uh, version 3. But the bad things about it are that it's uh, right out of the box, it, it comes with a lot of problems. For example, uh, the, the jumpers uh, for the uh, step selection, uh, they come pre-installed and they don't work at all they don't work it turns out because uh, this thing is, is wired wrong so so the way to, to go around it it's you know for, uh, let's say if you want to do half stepping uh, you, you gotta actually physically take take a wire and solder the jumper between uh, between the 5 volts and, and and the first pin there so that's pin 1, 2, 3 uh, so so this is I have it set up for perhaps half stepping. Uh, the other thing, th this board it c can only take uh, twelve volts. So so you you can only put twelve volts on on the on the power thing here. If you put more, you're gonna fry it because the regulator uh, doesn't go over twelve volts. You you can put more than 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 12 volts on it, but then you gotta pull this uh, motor cell jumper off, and you gotta put uh, the the higher voltage uh, plus on here and minus on there, and and out of the box the, these these aren't soldered on, so you gotta do that yourself. Uh, and and the other thing, uh, you've got to uh, change the default Gerber uh, Ger Gerbil software, Gerbil uh, software to uh, to match the way this is actually wired. You see the uh, the direction and step pins are are reversed on on this board. They're just wired differently than the version three board. And uh, to change that, you have to cha open up uh, CPU map uh, dot H and, uh, and and change it like this. Uh, so right right out of the box, this uh, this has to be five, six, seven. And this is uh, shoot. Yeah. And this is two, three, four. And then one, one, once you're done that, you, you go uh, save as. And uh, you save it as a CPU map. Huh. Okay, well, then you press save. You overwrite the existing one. Then, then you go back to the uh, Arduino. You open up Gerber Gerbil Upload. You go verify, and if we're lucky, it's, it's actually going to work. Maybe.
maybe. Huh, look at that. I think it actually worked. So compiled and, and then you go uh, upload. And then uh, that's done. All right, once you do that, because uh, I've done it already, I, 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 I'm not going to do it again. But uh, once you've done that, you, you plug the thing in. All right, you plug it in. Uh, you, you verify that it connects. It didn't connect. There we go. It's, it's on COM4. So it says OK. So we'll, we'll click close. Uh, I'll, I'll connect the, uh, the 12 volt power in. There's our 12 volt power. Make sure the motor cell uh, jumper is in because we're using the 12 volts power. Uh, I get my stepper motor. I plug my stepper motor here just for demonstration purposes. All right, so there we go. I press open and let's see if my axis moves. So I'll, I'll press the plus X and let's see what happens. Yeah, and as you can see, it's not working properly. Uh, and I think oh, it's it's not working properly because my uh, my feed rate is is too fast. So uh, let's let's make that smaller. This board's not, not that great. Maybe this time. Nope.
there we go uh, because it's it's uh, 12 volts uh, that that really means uh, it can't go that fast so, so in, in my case uh, it was set to 400 millimeters uh, per second which is uh, way too fast uh, for, for, for this uh, this uh, board so 100 millimeters per second it seems to be okay uh, I'll, I'll just show show those settings again so here's what uh, what seems to work for me so ma maximum rate 100 and because I'm half stepping uh, I set my uh, travel resolution, you know, for tw 25. That seems to be uh, what what works with those uh, uh, T8 uh, trapezoidal screws at half stepping. I uh, I hope uh, somebody will find this useful. Uh, I wasted a lot of time uh, getting this thing to work, and, and now that it works, uh, great, I guess. Bye.